Hey Lily. Hi Dee, you all right? Yeah, good, good. Good, what's happening? You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Um, good. What have I been doing today? Making loads of stuff as usual. Eating. Yeah. Making loads of craft stuff in my stomach. Oh, yeah. that's sweet. Yeah. I'm eating so much at the moment. Like, I just find like I'm non-stop. I know. We baked cakes yesterday. Did and you? All, and they're, yeah. And they're like, all, they're all gone. <laughs> Oh my god! I know. Just eating, eating, eating like twenty four seven. It's like the excitement, yeah, exactly. the excitement of it all. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, who have we got tonight? Right. So we have got um, a vegan cook. So I'm gonna have to read this because she does so much. So she's called Curly Sue Kitchen. She's okay. a vegan social media influencer, food writer, radio and TV presenter. Wow. A published, a published author. She's written a really cool vegan kids book. Amazing. Um, about vegan food and lifestyle. She was named as one of the top 100 in the Lift Effect Star Awards. She's just done loads. She's been all over the world, travelling, speaking to people about veganism, TV presenting. She's done loads. And her food, honestly, I put something up on my Instagram this morning. It was French toast and it looked amazing. And it's vegan. Wow. Amazing. So she's really smashing down all those, you know, thoughts of veganism being this sort of boring diet. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, should we get her on? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Let me get her on. Come on, technology. <laughs> <laughs> no. There we go. Right. Let's get The real on. craft being able to manage, like, technology. Mm. Do all the technical no. stuff absolutely god my hair i've just like got quarantine hair at the moment it's like growing 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 which is a good thing yeah it looks nice it needs um i need my barber big yeah. time yeah <laughs> isn't it um isn't it weird like things like that oh here she is oh hi, hi. there she is <laughs> how you doing good thank you how are you i'm good you're looking very very summery actually with your uh Purple on and in the summer. <laughs> I think our summer's finished now. Was that oh, I it? Know. <laughs> I know. So no, you know me, obviously. You know me doing and we've got Lily. Sorry, hi. Hi. It's lovely to meet you. You too. <laughs> so what we usually do is um some icebreaker questions to start with. So over to you, Lily. Okay, so it's just a few questions. So you just, you know, pick one. It's self-explanatory. Whatever you prefer out of the two. Just or whatever fun. you are. Yeah, just go for it. Okay, so outgoing or shy? Outgoing. Animals or humans? Humans. Meadows or woodland? Meadows. Horror or comedy? Comedy. Sweet or salty? Sweet. Mm. Bread or pasta? Bread. <laughs> Slim or stocky? Slim. Cuddles or kisses? I have to pick one of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't have to, but... <laughs> I can't pick both. Okay, fine. Equal, equal. No. Dancing or singing? Again, I can't pick. Um, <laughs> if I have... Uh, I'll go uh, to the next one. Oh, well done. Dancing, there you go. Cooking or eating? That's a good one. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, cooking, cooking. Oh, wow. Okay, that's it. That's it. Yay! I don't know what we find. What do we find out from that? What What can we say about? What a star sign are you? I don't know much about star signs. Oh, okay. No, it's fine. I just wondered because, um, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> When's your birthday? October the twenty first. Okay. I don't. Do you know what? I actually don't know what one that what that is. I'm afraid. I can't tell you. I didn't know if you were a Gemini because I'm a Gemini and I'm really indecisive and I'm like I want I'm the same I can't pick things I can't have favorites 
Mm. It's always got like a top five of everything. <laughs> I don't, I can't have favorites. It's like a trait of a Gemini is being indecisive. So I didn't know if you were a fellow Gemini. I wouldn't say I'm indecisive. I, I would say there's certain things where both of them would be in my top five. So yeah. that's when it's yeah okay well that's good to know Suzanne have you ever eaten meat ever in your life of course I have (laughs) yeah Yeah. when and why did you stop eating meat okay I was brought up I was not brought up a vegetarian um well I'm actually vegan now obviously but my parents were not vegan or vegetarian so I became a vegetarian when I was 18 okay wow a um, vegetarian for like 20 something years and then eight years this year November I would have been a vegan for um, eight years yeah wow yeah. Oh, okay. so you kind of, oh, it progressed it progressed from ve- from being a vegetarian yeah but a high percentage of vegans were vegetarian before okay yeah. and what are the rules what are the rules like the, the basic rules of a, of a vegan diet for those that don't know, I mean, there's so much on it now, but yeah, just. Meat, fish, dairy, eggs, and honey. And honey? Yeah, that always throws people, yeah. Wow, I love honey as well. I absolutely love honey. And there was me. That does, that's not the same for being a vegetarian though, right? No, vegetarian is no meat, no fish. Okay, okay. And does... Does your veganism cross over into what you wear? So will you not wear leather and things like that? Okay, so there's two types of vegans. There's dietary vegans and lifestyle vegans. I'm a dietary vegan. Okay, so you'll wear leather shoes, basically. And yeah. Milk. Cool, okay. Yeah. And do you, do you do it for ethical reasons or...? No, well, no. It's more health reasons. Since I've become vegan, I've become more aware of the ethics around animal husbandry and, you know, cruelty to animals and stuff. Because there was a lot of things I didn't know, um, or I had an idea, but I didn't know to what extent. But for me, because I have a religious background, I'm a practicing Christian, I'm a Seventh-day Adventist, and a lot of Seventh-day Adventists are vegan, vegetarian, or they don't eat a lot of meat. Not all, some eat meat. But it's quite popular in the Seventh Day Adventist religion to be vegan or vegetarian. I didn't know that. Okay. And what what would you say you eat on an average day? What would be like an average like breakfast, lunch, dinner, like a basic weekday okay. menu? Well, for breakfast, I usually like granola, which I usually make myself. Mm-hmm. I sometimes it can be really expensive or overloaded with sugar, and some of them have milk in it. Why? I don't know. Um, So I usually make the granola myself and I'll have that with maybe sliced banana and almond milk. Or I'll have, sometimes I'll just have beans, vegan sausages and hash browns. Or fruit smoothies, I love those. Or sometimes I'll just have juices. Like this morning I had um, a cucumber, apple and mint smoothie for breakfast. Mm. I love my smoothies. And what about lunch? What would you say for lunch is your... Yesterday I made butter bean and lentil curry and I had that with parathas, which are kind of like rotis. Oh, I saw that on your Instagram. It looked delicious. I sent it to my friend. It looked really nice. I've got, got to make that at some point, some stage. It's quite easy to make as well. Yeah. Okay. And so, and what about kind of dinner? Do you have a light dinner or what sort of? I try to have two meals a day, so I probably wouldn't have, I, I wouldn't have three cooked meals for the day, unless I'm kind of out or something like that. Occasionally, I do, in general, I have two meals a day. If I'm hungry in the evening, I'll probably just have some fruit or some crackers or something like that, yeah. And what are your thoughts on foods being packaged, packaged as kind of, you know when they say, or oh, this is like like fake bacon, and they may make the bacon look like bacon. That really, really, I've got a massive right with that. Because I just think, if you're not going to eat meat, don't start trying to make your food look like our meat. I'm not really a meat eater at the moment, but well, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I'm a vegetarian, sometimes I'm not. But I just think, it just annoys me when they say, 
You know when they say looks like bacon, ba like bacon. What's what's your well, on that? So what you're saying, your diet, you are flexitarian, so you will sometimes have vegetarian and sometimes you won't. I, I was saying I was pescatarian for a long time, but then when I go to my mum's and she does meat, I I don't eat, I don't really eat red meat anymore. Very, 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 very rarely. But um, yeah, chicken sometimes slips into my diet. So yeah, flexitarian. Um, flexitarian. Yeah. So in terms of meat and ve vegan products that are meat substitutes. Mm, that's it. I, well, it's. I try not to be an angry vegan because I'm not an angry vegan. I'm a happy vegan. <laughs> so what I try to do is, <laughs> so what I try to do is to eat his own. I do know that some people really struggle to make the change, the transition to a plant-based diet, mm. and things like that help them. In addition to that, because they have all of these options that are kind of taste alike, sound alike, look alike, mm. it means that there's so many more options for vegans because there's a lot of vegan options in this country. And it's not because there's a lot of vegans, it's because there's a lot of people who don't mind having a vegan option. And there's a massive group of people who I would say flexitarians. They're quite happy if they're making a lasagna to use um, vegan or vegetarian mince instead of mince beef. Yeah, so yeah. people like that, that helps me because that that means that the companies can sell tons of their products at a profit. But if it was just the vegan community, it would be harder for them. Right. Okay. Okay. Would you? Um, I don't know if, if you've got children. No, I haven't. Okay, so if you, if you, your children, would you bring up your child? as a vegan or would you let them choose what they want to eat or would you now at the stage that you're like, where you're at with your diet journey if you like or not diet journey, your lifestyle what your lifestyle is would you bring your child into that or, or let them choose because i just tell you where, why i'm saying that i mean my son loves pepper pig like all small children yeah. do. but then he's eating ham and i was yes i think it was yeah. yesterday i was really tempted to say to him do you know where that ham comes from? And I felt so bad, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I felt so good, he was enjoying it so much. I couldn't then turn around and say, actually, that's pepper, you know? <laughs> I just wondered where you stand with that. The really hard one, you know that. Mm. It's really hard. Yeah, do you, let, do you let Otis eat meats? Yeah, yeah, we, um, we eat Sorry. meat, so... Um, but for me, it's the same thing. Like, I say to him, oh, this is fish. And he starts going... You know, and he's got a pet goldfish. And you say, oh, this is a chicken. I did Thai green chicken curry for tea, for his tea. Mm. And he says, oh, you know, it's chicken. And he starts doing, like, the chicken sounds. And I feel really bad. And part of me thinks maybe it's better to have a vegan diet when they're that small. And then as they get older, they can choose to eat meat. Because mm. then it's a conscious decision. Whereas, I guess, if you're feeding them meat from a young age, they just think that that's – it's not a choice. You just do right. that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But as we eat meat, I'd feel really hypocritical and, I don't know, to, to sort of not let him have what we have, if that makes sense. Mm. Sorry, what do you think, Suzanne? Yeah. What I do is I wouldn't give them any meat or fish because I wouldn't cook it. Yeah. But what I do is wait until they're about 12 and say, the choice has to be yours. I'm not going to say to you, you have to be a vegan. I'm just going to say to you, I'm not cooking it. But when you're 12, you can decide. So when you go out, if you yeah. want to eat it, and so that's up to you to make the choice. So I think by 12, they're kind of old enough to kind of have a clue on what they do and don't want to eat. So it would have to be their choice. I wouldn't say, no, you can't. Okay. can't have yeah, but I wouldn't encourage it either. But obviously, if it's not, got. If you're not cooking it at home, it's like that. Unless you're like going, they're going to friends' houses or you're at parties. They're never going to come across it anyway. So you, you haven't, like you said, it's not, not a choice. It's just you're not in that circumstance, is it? Until they're a bit older, like you say, and they're maybe, you know, got that, mm. their own decision, their own minds, I guess. And sorry, just just moving on. Would you? Would you, I don't know if you're married or dating, but would you marry or date a non-vegan, a meat eater? Say, 
That's a whole lot of debate. Yeah. <laughs> a whole lot of debate. It was perfect in every other way. He ticked all the boxes, but he just liked beef. He liked red meat. I'm single at the moment, and I'll be honest with you, I've never managed to find a vegan man, so... So, okay. I would prefer, but, you know, well... Yeah. That, that, that's a whole debate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a perfect vegan? Are you a perfect vegan? It depends what you mean by perfect. Well, do you follow it down to a T? Like, all the rules, do you follow every single rule? You don't, you know, you, do you follow it wholeheartedly, thoroughly? That's an interesting question because it's a bit like being a little bit pregnant. You can't... Either you are or you're not. So if I'm not following all there is to be a vegan, then am I really a vegan? No. Mm -hmm. So for me, yes, I do follow all that I'm supposed to to be able to say I am a vegan. If I occasionally think, oh, I'm just going to have one fish finger, uh, no, that doesn't that doesn't make you a vegan. No. So no, I wouldn't do that. And my last question: Do you ever? ever get tempted by meat do you ever smell meat and think oh my gosh i could really eat that no what about like a... sorry Go on. i was gonna say like a birthday cake or something because obviously that has like you think of vegan you know like avoiding meat but actually you can't eat eggs um or dairy so things like cakes um i guess there's loads of other things that um that include dairy, like those kinds of things. Do you never get tempted? Like if you're out and there's not a vegan option, would you never just have a little? <laughs> no. No. See, 